Hello everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. It's a cake day. Today I'm going to show you how to make socket to me cake. Now this cake recipe goes way back into the 1970s, more or less like a vintage recipe. It started off as a cake that you would make using a boxed cake mix and then they added a lot of things to it to ramp it up and then somebody said socket to me. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and start putting this one together. Now, socket to me cake usually is prepared in a bunt pan or a tube cake pan, but I'm going to be using my bunt pan today. We're going to start preparing the first part of the cake batter, which is really simple, and then the second part of the cake will be simple also. So you're going to start off with one box of yellow cake mix. This is a 15.25 ounce size. You're just going to add that to a large bowl. We're going to add half a cup of white granulated sugar. Now you can add a three quarters cup of some vegetable oil or melted butter. So I'm going to take one and a half sticks of butter and we're going to melt it. All right, we're going to add to our bowl. We're going to add four eggs. Now these are large. If you bring your eggs to room temperature, it'll make for a nice fluffy cake. We're gonna bring over the sour cream. We're gonna add one cup. I like using these measuring cups. Alright, that measures a cup. We're going to go ahead and add it. We're going to be using an electric hand mixer. And we're going to beat all of these ingredients until it's nice and smooth. And it'll take about three minutes. We're going to set this aside for just a minute. We're going to start that second part of the cake, which is real simple. Here we go. We're going to make that center part of the cake now. You just need a small bowl and three ingredients. To the small bowl, we're going to add one cup of very fine chopped or crushed pecans. To that, we're going to add four tablespoons of brown sugar. Then we're going to add some ground cinnamon. Now I'm just going to sprinkle it in. It's per taste. Probably about half a teaspoon. There we go. I'm just going to take a fork and blend this together. Okay, we're going to get our bunt pan ready. Now this is the large one. holds about 10 cups. So I'm going to take some nonstick cooking spray. It has flour in it and that will help release the cake out of the pan. Now you can also grease your pan and flour it and just shake out the excess. That's kind of the old school way to do it. Now make sure you get all of the grooves. We're going to place half of the cake batter in.
just going to smooth it out. We're going to take our pecan brown sugar mixture and sprinkle all of it all over the cake batter. Okay, we're just going to top it with the remaining of the cake batter. Now I'm going to smooth it out with a spoon. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just hit it on the countertop a few times, get any air pockets out. We're going to place this in the oven. It's been preheating at 350 degrees. It's going to go in for about 60 to 65 minutes. Give it a check right around that time. Put a toothpick in, pull it out, make sure that the crumbs come out nice and clean. Now it's going to be a golden brown on the top. It will pull away from the sides of the pan. Probably be a little crispy on the edges. I'll be back because we still have to top the cake. Okay, I've pulled this out of the oven. Now I did the toothpick test and put it through the center of the cake and it came out nice and clean. It's golden brown. It's kind of pulled away from the edges just a little bit. And now I've let this rest for about 15 minutes in the pan. And what we're going to do, we're going to flip it out onto your cake stand or a serving platter. So I have one here. I'm just going to turn it on top of it. I'm going to flip the whole thing over. Oh, I heard a thunk. I'm going to let this cool down a little bit longer and then we're going to ice the cake. Okay, the cake has cooled it down completely. What we're going to do now is just make a simple glaze that we can ice the cake with. I've got one cup of powdered sugar and then I'm going to whisk in. I'm going to start off with one tablespoon of milk and continually add milk until I get to the consistency that I want that I can pour over the cake. I want it pretty thick, but I want it too thin or it'll just run off the cake. Now if you add too much milk and it's too thin, you can always go back and add some powdered sugar and that will thicken it up. I'm trying to see if y'all can see that consistency there. Now once you make a glaze, you've got to hurry up and kind of put it on the cake because it'll start thickening up and you're not going to get that stuff to move. Alright, let's bring the cake over. Let's start icing it. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take some more pecans and just sprinkle them over the cake. Okay, what do you think of my socket to me cake? I know y'all want to see the inside of this one. So do I. Let's cut a piece. What do y'all think? That is what it's supposed to look like. That center of brown sugar, cinnamon, pecans. Well, it holds up very well. I think all it needs, y'all know what the answer is, a fork. Oh my gosh, I love that center of the cake. That's going to be the first bite. Oh yeah. Caramelized pecans. Why not? Let me check out that crumb of the cake. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a 1970s dessert cake. Tastes delicious. All right, y'all, 
give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below what you think. If you've ever heard of a socket to me cake, I bet a lot of you have. Okay, you saw how easy that was to make. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I will see y'all on the next episode.